chest and try on the agenda for today, boys. Got a lot of good sleep yesterday. I even took a three hour nap, kind of on accident, but I apparently needed it. Slept really good last night. And so I am feeling, honestly, I'm, I'm feeling the best I've felt in about a week or two, especially with the no or low carbs. So I'm super excited to get in here and catch a pump. Scoop a stem daddy, scoop a pump daddy in the system. You already know it's going down. You already know it's going down. We're going to start off uh, pretty, not heavy, uh, medium weight, medium to heavy weight uh, dumbbell incline press. Last week we did that and had some fucking incredible mind muscle connection. And the pump was juicy. So we're going to stick with that. And then I don't know, it's just going to be a free for all, free for all after that. Probably going to change up the variation of tricep pushdowns. Past three times I've gone, I've done where I, my back was up against it. Now, if I get in there and I'm just not feeling any other movements and the connection ain't there, I'll go right back to that, no problem. But I am going to try to switch it up a little bit and see if see if we're getting some good mind muscle connection with any other movements. Triceps, I do have... Uh, I don't have as good of a mind muscle connection as I do a lot of my other body parts. Overall, so yesterday, other than cardio and the pressure washing, I did not do much. Didn't work out, which is, is rare that I don't do anything at all as far as like actual pushing some weights. Even on my active recovery days, I'm getting some dumbbells, you know, just even 10 pounds. I didn't do anything. A three hour nap is what I did. So I'm feeling good. I'm ready to get in here. Very hydrated right now. Uh, not a lot of food in the system, but it is what it is. And yeah, let's just get in here and crush a chest and try day, boys. All right, set number three about to go down. Nothing crazy, just some 65s. Shooting for 10 to 15 reps here. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna do anything less than 10 reps uh, purposely for until the show is over. So I wanna prevent injury. I am feeling pretty good, but I can tell my energy is low. Like when carrying the dumbbells over here, it was like exhausting. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm loving the mind muscle connection we're getting. Again, this is set number three. Uh, I like these benches because there's every about half inch to, to three fourths of an inch, there's another ring that you can adjust the seat to. The ones at One Life, it's like every two inches. This one, you've got a lot more options and it's, it's really the perfect angle for me. Stretch it. Good, good start to working sets. Again, nothing crazy there. Probably about an RP of, of eight. And uh, we'll go up a little bit, but I think we'll only go up one more time as far as the actual weight goes. Probably go to 75s. Keep it light enough where we can keep control of the dumbbells and angle it how we want to. Set number four. So we've upped the weight a little bit. Gonna try to keep the same amount of reps here. Uh, one or two of the reps, I am going pretty low, getting a good stretch out of the, the chest. But I'm being cautious about that as well, as when I come out of that stretch, I'm making sure I'm not exploding out of that stretch. When you're doing a stretch like that with weight, you're up in your risk of injury substantially. So I make sure I'm very controlled. And if I don't feel stable with the weight and I feel like the weight's too much, I will not do that stretch. But I feel comfortable, or I at least felt comfortable with the last weight. We'll see how this feels. If I don't feel comfortable to do a stretch with it, I won't. But I just notice a lot of muscle separation and muscle tension as well, mind muscle connection when I do that stretch. So that's something that we're focused on here. Uh, this is relatively 
lightweight usually, but being no carbs, I can definitely feel it. One thing I'm noticing, my skin is definitely tightening up from, uh, from the no carbs. My physique doesn't look as good, but my skin is tightening up. So we're gonna get into the set, set number four. Probably gonna do six sets here. So we'll do this one and two more. I don't, I don't think I'll film all of them, but we'll see. With all the sleep, I do feel pretty good. It's just muscle energy is very low. Yeah. Good little set there. Good little set. I could have maybe squeezed out one more rep, but that weight was feeling pretty heavy, so I don't want to take any risk. Uh, I'm debating, I might do one more set with this and only shoot for 10 reps. And then we'll drop the weight down for the last set, so that way we can focus on some mind muscle connection. I might drop it down to a weight where I can get like 20 reps and absolutely squeeze and push blood flow. So we'll, we'll see, I don't know what we're gonna do for the next set, if we'll drop it down and keep this. Stay tuned to find out. This is gonna be set number five. Feeling pretty good, so I kept the weight at 75. We're gonna see how it feels. The goal is to get 10. I did rest a little bit longer, so I think that's gonna help pretty substantially. You know, I think for a 2XL shirt, I'm filling this out pretty good, boys, considering we're this deep into the cut. I'm not mad about it. It is long on me. Where are my short kings at? You know what I'm saying? All right. Controlled. Controlled reps. Good little set. So I rested a lot more between that set. And uh, as you can see, I was able to push out more reps. Sometimes that rest is so needed. It's just crucial, especially when you're doing heavier. Uh, now when I get into more hypertrophic movements that it's not as exerting, I won't rest as long. But that was probably about a three minute rest. And you can see I was able to get more out of that set. I'm not always gonna rest three minutes, uh, especially when it's lighter weight. But uh, when you're going a little heavier, especially higher reps, you need to rest a little bit more to get more out of your set. Now there's there's a time and a place for everything, as I always say, but that, that was definitely needed. A good three minute rest right there made all the difference. And we are working with our last set here. So we did a total of six sets. I would say three of them will be working sets. One of those, yeah, a slight working set, nothing crazy. Just something light, you know what I mean? I did drop the weight down to 50s. My goal here 
is with some very controlled reps is to get 50. Not all of them are going to be super controlled, but most of them I want to be very, very controlled reps. We'll get some stretching, we'll get some squeezing. Uh, we're not just going to go through the motions. You know, what I tell a lot of people is take a look around the gym, see how everybody else is training, and you need to train harder than that. That's for a fact. When you look at the guys that are absolutely shredded or they're, they're jacked as fuck, if you look at how they train versus 95% of the other people in the gym, it's different. It's different. And I'm not hating on the people that aren't going crazy hard. I'm just saying that if you want to be an animal, you got to train like one. Start off with a little stretch here. Oh, one, two, three, four. Some good little mind must connection there. I'm excited to take the pump cover off. I don't have much of a pump, but uh, you can just see the skin is extremely tight. The skin is, that's crazy. That's wild right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but skin is tight. So we're gonna get into some type of fly variation per usual. I don't know what that fly variation will be. I'm thinking a little low to high and uh, we'll just see how it feels. I don't feel like doing uh, horizontal and I don't feel like going high to low. I don't really get good mind muscle connection with high to low. Doesn't mean I shouldn't do it, but I think we're gonna go low to high for this next one, or for these flies. But I guess you'll find out here in a, in a couple seconds. Set number two, about to go down. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably about to get a little ahead of myself, but the pump cover is coming off. Oh, lost a headphone. Lost a headphone. Oh. oh yeah. Nips hanging out. I love it. I love it. I can't imagine the pump is that good, but just how tight the skin is right now, I probably look pretty gnarly. So we're gonna go, so again, second set here. I don't know if I already said that actually. But this is our second set. I think we're gonna rock with five sets here. Try to get after it on this one. You're good, you can walk in front of it. Energy is extremely low. One thing I notice when I go all the way up, I seem to feel it 
more in the inner chest. So we might add that in a little bit more for these next few sets. That one was just kind of playing around, not really a working set, but these next three will be. I'm only gonna do five sets here. But that felt pretty good, felt pretty good. Again, when I go higher, uh, I just feel it in the inner of my chest. I don't know the science behind it, but that's just what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna rock with that a little bit more. We'll definitely up the weight for these next couple. Hungry as fuck. <laughs> hungry as fuck, bro. Boy said, am I hungry? Yes, I am. Uh, we're gonna check the pump. There ain't much of a pump, but you can just tell we're tight. Looking, looking locked in, looking locked in. Striations are going crazy. Yeah, we're pretty satisfied with that. Uh, pretty early in the workout too. All right, this is gonna be our final set here. So we're gonna do a drop set and just absolutely raw dog it and get the fuck after it. Not much to say here. Again, we're gonna be going all the way through the range of the motion. And we'll probably get a little bit of stretching in here as well. But the main focus is to destroy this drop set. So just get right into it. Pushing blood flow, pushing reps. I'm just trying to, you're good, you're good. You can walk in front of it. I understand the strategy. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Now the key is to not yank the weight make sure the chest is moving that that weight Energy is low. Stretch it. Fuck. Come on. Come on, you can go. It's like, I feel like I have more in the tank, but there's just nothing there. It's like I'm trying to get these reps out, but I just, just this energy is just like, boom, wall. Overall, we're getting what we need to out of it, but I definitely just feel like I could get so much more, but it's like when I start the movement, I start the rep, it just crushes. But it is what it is, we're still getting a good workout. This is part of it. The main goal here, like I've said in the past couple of videos, so I'm trying to mainly maintain what I have. I'm not worried about building too much before the show. I mean, I've got less than a month. I'm not gonna build that much, but yeah, look like the camera stops recording. I'm not gonna build that much in 25 days, but I wanna maintain what I have. So I'm not worried about, you know, just destroying the body. I'm just worried about maintaining. I feel like I just said maintaining 50 fucking times, but you get the gist, you know what I'm saying. All right, so. We're switching it up a little bit. We've really only been doing two movements uh, per muscle group recently, other than like legs and back, of course. But per chest, we've only been doing two movements. So I did about two less sets than typical. And we're gonna do two sets here on flat bench. And we're just gonna see how many reps we can get each set reasonably. I don't wanna go too, too crazy. Uh, with 135, we're just gonna do two sets, as many reps as possible. Uh, probably go RP of nine though, so not really true as many reps as possible. You can see we are looking pretty juicy though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not pump wise, just skin so tight we're looking yacked. 
Uh, but yeah, two sets, 135, as many reps as we can get, just to switch things up. Uh, flat bench is not really the best movement to target the chest as far as like hypertrophy, but it's still a good movement. It's still a, a strong count, compound movement to do. And since we haven't been doing it, we'll probably get a good bit out of it. Fat bar. Gotta adjust the grip there. So not very many reps. Uh, just being low carbs, low energy, and tail end of the chest workout. I'm obviously not going to be able to get that many. Uh, it's probably only like 12, I think. Not if that, with the reset. I guess all their bars on incline and flat bench are thick bars. Like, these are extremely thick, and I actually think it affects how many reps I can get. Probably only get one or two more, don't get me wrong. But uh, it, it's definitely, the fatter bar puts a little more tension on my wrist. The wrist has been better, but I feel it certain times and that's, that was one of them. I'm not gonna film the next set. This isn't very uh, fun. This isn't like a, an awesome movement and I've got a lot of clips. But next time you see me, we'll be doing some type of tricep movement. All right, we are on tricep push downs. I've been doing the one where my back is supported and as much as I love that, I just wanted to switch it up and move this camera back. Sorry about that, y'all. So I've been doing the back supported one, which I love, and I'm getting some really good mind muscle connection. I think the benefit will be to switch up the angle more than to keep doing the back supported. Not that I'm gonna not go back to it. I'm definitely gonna go back to it. And uh, I just, you know, you don't wanna keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Not that you should fix what's not broken, but this isn't broken either. This is a good movement. I'm gonna go slow and good squeezes here. Especially on the ascent. It's just, it's, it's honestly insane how my muscles feel. Cause it's like, I, I feel good, but at the same time, when I go to do the actual rip, it's just exhausting. It's kind of a cool to experience and be this in tune with your body. You just kind of learn a lot, you know? Make you appreciate when I do have those carbs back in my system. Definitely not as good of a connection as when my back supported, but it is good. It's a different angle. Switch things up. So uh, that was set number two. Probably gonna do three more sets here. I'm only gonna film one more though. We'll see. All right, so I was way too forward on my last set. I went and looked at the footage. I did not like how forward I was. So we're gonna adjust that. And I think we'll get some mind, some better mind must connection out of it. But I was like hunched over like this. I really need to be a little bit more upright. I think that'll help me get a little better mind muscle connection. Uh, feeling decent on these. Feeling decent. Yeah, see, much better already. Ooh. Squeezing it.
I wish I could explain to y'all truly how I felt. It's like mentally I feel good, energy's there, but muscle fatigue just kicks in like that. It's crazy, it's crazy. I don't wanna keep repeating myself, but it's the truth. Uh, but overall, getting some good mind muscle next, get substantially better being more upright. I was way too lean forward. I do believe you need to have a little bit of a hunch when you're going in front of you, but I was like way too much for it. So I think that's also why with the back one, I get a really good connection because I'm so upright, but it is also just gonna be a different angle completely. So things to keep in mind when you're hitting uh, tricep pushdowns. All right, so this is gonna be our second set here. Probably the last set we film and then we'll get into posing. I know that's y'all's favorite part according to YouTube. So we'll get into posing after this set. I'm gonna do, this is my second set. I'll do one or two more here, probably two. And then we'll get it right into that posing. Looking thin today, boys, looking thin. Ugh. I've noticed when I move my hands back, I get more out of my triceps. Squeeze at the bottom. I don't want to lean too forward. I don't want to get my chest engaged too much. It's going to be a little bit. But I am definitely noticing my left or my right tricep is fatigued a little bit more. So I just did a couple reps, focusing more on my left. Squeeze. So imagine me doing two more sets of that, and then we'll be in the posing room. Yes, sir. Solid, solid workout today. Uh, definitely not gonna be my best workouts, and typically I like to train a little bit more savage, but we gotta train properly for the competition and not just be a savage about it, you know what I'm saying? It's not just about being a savage right now. It's about being smart. But once, once the show's over, boys, you are gonna see a whole different J-Cat, you know what I mean? I'm excited to show y'all that portion of me. All right, it's time to check the pump that we don't really have. So feeling decent overall, like mentally I feel good. Physically, I'm tired, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, and it's not lack of sleep tired because I got a ton of sleep yesterday, but just kind of almost drained as, as far as like energy stores go. No matter how much caffeine I drink right now, it's just not gonna be enough. But overall, solid ass chest and tri workout. Feeling really good as far as like where we're sitting. I uh, getting some striations in the legs. The, the top portion of my quad is finally starting to pop through a little bit, so I'm super excited about that. But like, you can just tell I'm small. Like I, I'm just a small guy right now, you know? So, abs. Just look tight, which is always good, obviously. We'll pull the hoochies up. Go a little bit lower on that. Yeah, so, I mean, like, the striations are coming all the way through. Fuck yeah. That shit looks gnarly, baby. That shit looks gnarly. So we're going to run through the mandatories. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hammies in the check-ins are showing a lot more. Very pleased with that. Y'all can't see them, but in the check-ins, they're definitely popping a lot more. Which is good, that's something, as y'all know, big weakness of mine 
his hammies. I feel like I turn a little bit, but I, I don't feel it. it. It just looks like it. <sighs> Y'all tell me, can you see a difference? I know for a fact, since I started posting, you can see a difference, but like from this week to last week, can y'all see the difference? Cause I can, it's like subtle, but if you know what you're looking for, you can definitely see it. That looks crazy. That looks fucked up right there. Coach even talked about Chad this morning, how my waist is just tapered down so much because I naturally have a pretty wide waist, just genetics and some other factors too that I personally think just the squat challenges, if you go back on my YouTube that I've done, I think that's built a heavy trunk. And so we're improving that. I just been feeling like recently my back just looks like I got two fucking meat straps hanging from that motherfucker when it comes to my lats. Just massive fucking hogs of meat right there. I love that shit, honestly. <sighs> Definitely a little shaky, which we don't want to do that on stage. I just can't stop doing that shit and looking at the striations. Um, a little open pose. Uh, but yeah, after the workout, we'll just be in low carbs. I'm, I'm gonna be a little more shaky. Something that when I'm just doing it at the house, I try not to shake, but it's gonna be a little bit of a factor. Uh, right after the workout for sure. It's gonna be harder to maintain, no shaking. But uh, I think I'm gonna do some clips for the old IG and TikTok. And we're gonna call this a wrap on today's workout. Pretty good workout, not mad at it. You can tell we're tightening up. Things just look smaller, but the skin is tighter. Uh, not much to grab onto. That's pretty gnarly, considering we've got 26 days to thin that out right there. That's pretty gnarly right there, so. But my legs look like fucking twigs right now. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's workout. If you made it this far, you're a true OG. And I appreciate you more than I could ever explain. Uh, we are currently, I think 25 days out is when you'll see this video. 25 days out, son. Damn, start off at 128 days, that's crazy. I'm so excited to get this over with show y'all what we can bring to the stage and then smash a motherfucking steak and some donuts and some cookies after this show. But I'm, I'm enjoying the process. I needed that sleep yesterday. I feel so much better. Best I felt in a couple weeks uh, from getting extra sleep yesterday. So I appreciate y'all more than I could ever imagine, you could ever imagine. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you'd like, throw a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment what y'all want to see after the show is done. Are you enjoying these workouts? Are you enjoying them being raw? Do y'all want me to add edits? Let me know. I'm open-minded, you know what I mean? But I am enjoying uploading for y'all every day. It's great for me. I get to enjoy the process and document the process. And uh, yeah, you made it to this far at the end of the video. Thank you so much. And we are 25 days out from our first ever bodybuilding show. And as always, I will see y'all tomorrow.